Good? So whenever it can start, or did you already start? Hi, so today we have a request, so we're going to go over the math curriculum and the math shelves. So we're going to go over all the materials. So here we're going to start always, like Montessori, we start from top to bottom, left to right, the way we read, and we're going to start with the golden leads. That's probably the first material that we're going to be working in the uh, lower elementary class. And it would be more or less an overview. We start with static and then dynamic. And here we have all the uh, number tiles, the small and big. And to move later, probably a month, month and a half later, an average student would be moving to the stamp game. I'm going to show the stamp game here. That we already saw some of the lessons with the stamp game. And this is a material that we're going to be back and forth, but probably we're going to have the students working on it for two, three months, probably, until they move the next material. The next material would be the uh, bit frame, and uh, as we said sometimes, this is a material that some students tend to click really well, while other ones have some issues with it. So we can work with it and um, observe, by observation, we see which students can be more fluent with the material, and which ones is a challenging one. Before we move to the next step, that would be the golden mat. The golden mat, we have it here. We've seen some of the lessons with the golden mat, so we can recognize the mat and um, the golden mat um, I find that I really like it I feel that the students get a good connection between the number uh, decimal system and uh, after they've been working with I would say the golden mat probably another three four months probably with it they will move to the um, checkerboard that it is here um, I feel like the golden mat would be kind of like playing with one keyboard while the checkerboard would be like playing with two keyboards and that would be the next one. So we have here the checkerboard. And finally, and this could be more or less by the second year in the class, they will be introduced into the um, test tubes of the racks and tubes that are here. So this would be more or less the sequence and as we said, it's kind of like an average student would do. And you want every year kind of like go two steps ahead. So if the first year you're opening with the golden beads, maybe the second year you want to be opening with the, with the stamp game. And probably for third years, it would be good to start in the checkerboard. 